Welcome to No Borders with Brian and Carrie. In this episode today, we are going to be discussing when we traveled to Romania and uh, just our experience as we went through the country. We spent about two and a half months there. Yeah, one of our favorite countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we, we happened on it, um, not by mistake, but uh, out of circumstance. Right, yeah. It really was a place that I would say absolutely surprised us. Um, We'd cut, I'm in, 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 in such a wonderful way. In a great way. Yeah. We, we've said before, um, Romania is an underrated country, and there are some that kind of took offense to that, mm -hmm. um, really not understanding what we were meaning. Right. And what we're meaning is it's, is it's underrated. People don't think of Romania as one of those vacation destinations. Mm -hmm. And it should be. And it should be. Yeah. Yeah. And recently, so one of the reasons how we got to Romania was because we had to exit the Schengen area. Um, spent and, our 90 days. We had to get out. Right. And so we went to Romania. And like we said, we spent that two and a half months, which was wonderful for us. But unfortunately, now Romania is part of, part of the Schengen. The Schengen. It's so, going to be here real soon. Yeah. Yeah. So fortunately, we got our time in there when we did and um, didn't necessarily have to use up that time. But I think that anybody who is looking at vacationing and um, I'm sure that Romania isn't one that tops a lot of people's lists right. but we hope that through some of the things we talk about today maybe we'll intrigue you to look into it a little bit more at least yeah I, I think so you know um, it's got everything it's got history it's got mm -hmm. food um, it's got um, everything that you might want um, without mass tourism right yeah one of the people that was there told us that it's space it's set up for tourism without the tourists right so they're they they have everything you need the tourists just it's really just don't not go quite there. there yet right yeah. right so we started our travels and we went into we started in bucharest right and uh we were only in bucharest a couple days we're in bucharest for a couple days i really think that's all you need mm -hmm. um now we were on foot so we did a lot of walking mm -hmm. uh, that day um, and we, we hit all the key um, historical points of interest. We mainly stayed in Old Town. Now, the Old Town, um, they are refurbishing and cleaning up mm -hmm. and trying to make it more um, mm. hip, I guess yeah. would be the right word for it, because it, it is quite the nightlife. It's a quite the nightlife, but it also is just the super cool food hub. Yeah. I mean, you just, we, well, and to add to it, the cost, it is yeah. so incredibly affordable. So, you know, we could go out and eat very, very well for incredibly affordable prices. Um, and one of the things right out the gate in Bucharest that we were so excited to find. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> he knows what I'm about to say. Yeah. Um, is some people had told us, like, they have a pretty cool craft beer scene yeah. there. And if you know anything about us, we love our craft beer scene, uh, especially being from where we are from. And so that was one of our first stops when we were in Bucharest is we had got there, you know, travel day. And it's like, let's go grab a beer. And we went to our first craft beer location. Right. And a little, a little shop the guy had set up. Yeah. Super friendly guy suggested a number of different beers. Mm -hmm. And I would say we are beer connoisseurs. Mm -hmm. um, I sold beer for a living for a long time. So I know a little bit about it. And I can tell you, these beers were good. They were really good. Were and really I think good. at that moment, we were so excited because we knew we were on day one of two and a half months. Yeah. And we're like, if this is what we have, not to mention we were paying like $3 for a craft not beer. Not the $7 we're paying Which we're home. used to paying seven, yeah. Right, right. So um, we tried numerous, and it wasn't just like there was one brewery, there was multiple different ones that we could right. go to. So yeah, that was a really fun, uh, fun thing that we found when we were there that we're yeah, excited about. You know, and I also think Romania was, was it a bit more, because we were, we were coming from Spain mm -hmm. with a, a, an incredible transportation system, mm -hmm. uh, you know, fast trains, um, trams, just a real ease of getting around the country. Mm -hmm. And now we're in Romania. So we're going to figure out how to get from Bucharest to Brajov. Mm -hmm. And Brajov is another place in Romania town in Romania with a lot of history mm -hmm. but to get there you have to take a train yeah and well if, if you don't have if you don't have a car that is right now we don't do cars we do public transportation mm -hmm. and the train system in Romania is not quite what it is in Spain to say the least well in one of kind of the backtrack so one of the reasons that we didn't do a car also because it's actually incredibly affordable to rent a car in Romania in like the spring fall right and, all, and in the winter months but in the summertime it's not necessarily 
the cost, it's the availability. Right. They just aren't even available. Right. So, but we, we typically veer away from renting a car anyway, but it wasn't a, there are plenty of cars. So if you want to do that, we hear the countryside and everything like going back, we would probably choose to rent a car. We would probably to choose the to countryside. rent a car. And when, when you, when you say explore the countryside, you, you're meaning maybe go up north, mm -hmm. um, go to some of the smaller communities. Yeah. Uh, we went to the really, to be honest, the main well-known, well-known yeah. mm -hmm. towns of Romania, yeah. uh, Transylvania area uh, in, in Western Romania, mm -hmm. which is great. It's a great place to start your, uh, ex you know, your experience right. in Romania, mm -hmm. um, but to get to those other parts, um, having a car would be key. We may, yeah, it would make it a lot more enjoyable, a yeah, lot easier. Absolutely. Um, that is one thing that we did find right away in Romania is the transportation system in comparison. It definitely lacked a little bit, right. but uh, you know that was probably the the only thing that lacked. So, but yeah, so we make our way to Brajov, which right away we were just in love with. Bra I know for right. me, it still goes down as one of my favorite stops that we've made right. so far. Right. Um, at this point, we had been away from home for a while, and it felt as much as kind of coming home as what we probably could have had because we had the the hillsides, the we green had mountains, the, and, yeah, 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 and um, what a beautiful town! Yeah, absolutely no, beautiful. It, it goes down as one of our one of our favorite, um, and again, the budget was there; mm -hmm. it was inexpensive. Um, we saw Top Gun. Yeah, we, we the, saw the Top new Top Gun, Gun, the new Maverick. Top Gun Maverick. Yep. While we were there, there and that was a really nice movie we theater. We caught too. it. It was it was the nicest movie theater yeah. I've ever been in. It yeah. was so nice, and um, it ended up being we caught it on the very last day that that movie was showing in the theater. And we don't go to movies, but no. that's one that you wanted to you see on go, the big you screen. You got to go to Top Gun yeah. Maverick. So that was exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they had absolutely, and that was that same one that they had the mall that yeah. was so massive, and the grocery store that was. I mean, if anybody's been in a Walmart in the States, um, it, it was like a Walmart on crack. It was this right. massive, it was a really huge nice place. Yeah, yeah. grocery store. So, um, yeah, and then the, the Old Town, probably, I don't know, might go down as one of my favorite Old Towns. I loved walking around Brajov's Old Town. It was uh, town. fairy tale esque, yeah. mm -hmm. is well, how I describe it. And again, they had some great craft beer. Mm -hmm. They had some breweries there as well, mm -hmm. um, and they also we also found a place where they were selling the uh, the old world European, Western European uh, beers that have been around for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. That are also oh, that's right, yeah. very that was fun, very fantastic beers. Yeah, that's how craft beer got started, really. But uh, yeah, so Brajov goes down as one of our top. It did, yeah, and you know that was a great place for anybody who's looking for a place. To say you're an outdoorsy person yeah. that likes to hike. Um, we took the the gondola up to the hiking area up top, and you got a really pretty view over the city. There was another area you could hike it to. We decided right. to do the gondola. It was hot. Um, it was hot that day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that was an area you could go there winter, summer, any time of the year. It's going to be a beautiful area because people go to that area as well to ski. Right. Well, and there's also day trips out of there too. Mm -hmm. Uh, we went to Pelish Castle, mm -hmm. uh, and um, if you've never heard of Pelish Castle before, mm -hmm. uh, it's really cool. Yeah, and a lot of history there. Um, that's a great day trip. There's um, a couple other things we you went can to do. another castle. I'm, I'm yeah, not uh, remembering. Yeah, Bron, Dra Bron, Bron Castle. Yeah, it's Dracula's, Dracula's Castle. Castle. Yeah. yeah, not quite as impressive no. as Pelish Castle. But, uh, but there are day trips you can take mm -hmm. out of Brajov as well. Plenty to go see and Plenty do. Plenty to see, bus rides that are, are and just very a, easy. And just an amazing food scene. Yeah. I mean, we really enjoyed trying all the different foods there. So now from there, we went to Shigashora. Yes. And uh, we only did two days there. And that is about all you need. You really only need maybe, I would suggest a night just because we always like to stay in a place at least overnight. A town during the day uh, it feels very different at night, right. you know, when the lights are on and you really get to kind of see that, not the nightlife, because we're usually asleep by the we're nightlife time. We're usually asleep by 9, 9 but, anyway. <laughs> yeah, but to be able to just see it in the <clears throat> evening, maybe after a lot of tourists have left and it calms down a little bit. Right. So we do like to spend the night at least, but we did spend two nights there. It was insanely hot. And and that's where the, uh, the um, what is it called? Um, Oh, Dracula was born there. Oh, that's right. But, his, but his house. His or his, house. Yeah. But uh, Dracula is a, a fictional character, so mm -hmm. how could he have been born there? But yeah. that's what they go off yeah. of. They go off, uh, um, this is the birthplace. Yeah. So it, it does take you back in history 
uh, quite a bit. It's, but that town was the most fairy tale looking yes. little picturesque town that yes. was so fun to wander through. Um, we really enjoyed that. We stumbled across that little, um, what, pub area that was member oh, yeah. in the back. Yeah. It was all treed with really cool seating. Um, we absolutely loved that and spent some time. It was a great place to get out of the sun. It was all shaded and it mm -hmm. was kind of a hippie joint. Yeah. You know, with beanbag chairs laid around yeah. and everything. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a neat place, and I would suggest going there uh, as a stop by. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So now from Shigashora, we went to Sibiu. Sibiu is a bigger city, mm -hmm. um, but not to be missed. Yeah. You know, we were there for two and a half weeks, I believe. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed it. I mean, I think that for people that want more activities yes. of stuff to do, it is a great place to be because their their old town as well was a walking old town. It was a great old town. We yeah. loved it. Um, you know, the downside for us, I think, that kind of took a little bit of the fun, we didn't care for our Airbnb. Right, our Airbnb wasn't very good. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of our few fails when it comes to accommodations. Um, but But... but we were able to do it. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to move out or anything like that. No. And the location was great. There was also a lot going on that time of year. There was. There was the Red Bull um, motorcycle, motorcycle races. Race. That was a lot of that fun That was a to lot watch. of fun. I saw yeah. a guy break his arm. We saw that a couple cool. guys get really the badly got hurt. Messed up yeah. pretty, that, was, that was a fun day. <laughs> yeah. That sounds so, so we had a messed great up to say it that, that way. <laughs> uh, but there's some, there some historical churches or some mm -hmm. museums. Yeah. Again, the food scene. Mm -hmm. um, and again, they got some great beer. The beer, yeah, yeah. that that's just followed us around. We yeah. we love that this a lot of the same breweries that we would find followed us around yeah. uh, all the different places we stopped in Romania. We did find that one restaurant that somebody had recommended to us to go there Down that the was basement. like that was like super traditional Romanian food. And I think in hindsight, we wish we would have gone there earlier on our stay in right. Cebu because we would have gone back yeah, <laughs> because it was back. so good. Yeah, I think we went there the second to the last night. Yeah, and, uh, we missed the rest that we could have done it more. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was down in a cellar and yeah. dark and super, uh, the staff was so kind yeah. and accommodating. And, you know, to anybody who worries about the, am I going to be able to communicate? Am I going to be able to understand? Good point. We really had no trouble in Romania at all. No. Um, if anything, the we were on the butt or on the train and that um, little girl, you were saying hi to her. Right. She was very young and the mom um, was telling her to say hi and said, oh, she loves t practicing her English. Practicing her English, yeah. yeah. And so that was really cute. So we found that every place that we went, uh, English was very widely spoken. Well, we talked to the hostess in Bucharest and we got in a conversation with her about education and politics and everything else going on in Romania. And, and she was telling us that pretty much anybody under the age of 30 mm -hmm. can speak fluent English. Mm -hmm. So that's something to know. And if you're over the age of 30, obviously, the chances are, you know, the gist of it, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and, and that's uh, now it's always best to learn a few phrases, whatever country you're in, uh, please and thank you and a smile mm -hmm. go a long way. The smile is any language, mm -hmm. but if you can say please and thank you in, in their native language, then that's it's always best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we were done in uh, Cebu and we headed off to Alba Ulia. And uh, we actually stayed in a town that was just near there because we had somebody reach out to us online and offered us to come stay at their, uh, their it wasn't an Airbnb, it was through booking.com. Right. Uh, and so offered that to us and offered us their car to go. And he kind of gave us a itinerary um, because one thing we really found with the Romanian people is they wanted you so very much to love their country. Yes. Uh, we have not experienced that to that same level at all, Ever, not anywhere. even close, any place else that we've traveled. Um, and to this day, we still have a lot of the people that followed us when we went into Romania right. and we'll send messages of, when are you coming back? When are you coming and, back, yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, it's been, it's been great. You know, um, one of the things that, that I, I've noticed about the Romanian people is there's a large a sense of pride, mm -hmm. you know, this is who we are. Yeah. Um, come and visit us, right. come and see what we're all about. Um, because we are a pretty cool place, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, uh, you know, it's one of those deals where you, you kind of feel like the Western side of the world looks down upon you. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's just not the case. And mm -hmm. if it is the case, it shouldn't be the case. No, 
not at all no we yeah we absolutely the people so welcoming and and just like you said so much pride in their country so um so in alba ulia we um did quite a few day trips that we could do because we were only there a couple days Uh, and we did a couple of the places that he had suggested that we go and travel to, and then we went into the actual city town center there, Uh, and then once again, we, beautiful area, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Love that area, and, but we stumbled across a, (laughs) the big rig. Oh. Oh, totally done up, like. Yeah, the the, uh, semi, the semi truck festival. Yeah. And these, these. It was so fun. yeah, Yeah. You know, again, uh, this is in the middle of Romania, mm-hmm. um, and you got these uh, semi truck show, and with the most elaborate, uh, cool, uh, the paint. There was like the transformer the tra- ones oh, you know, and you know, Spider Man. Nothing like know. I'd ever seen uh, before. No, it was no. incredible. Yeah, so that was a lot of fun to walk around. And once again, we grabbed a few uh, well, they had a beers. Beer while they had a beer garden, <laughs> yeah. so we had to. But their beer you know, garden, you didn't have to stay in. We could walk around right, for a beer. Right, you could go get a beer, <laughs> and then you could walk around. Yeah. So Carrie and I are always up for a, a beer garden. Yeah. But uh, that's how we met, was in a beer garden. I know. So that kind of goes hand in hand. That's why we have to keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we really liked that town. Uh, We did go to a restaurant that um, said that it was probably. Probably the best place in town. (laughs) That's what the sign (laughs) said uh, when you're exiting out of Albulia. Albulia. Anyways, and as we're exiting out, that is the sign. Probably the best. (laughs) Probably the best. It might not be. (laughs) Might not be. But it, it could be. And we were so hungry and we had been wandering around and doing our thing and had plenty to drink at this point. And we're like, we need to go get some food. And so we went to the probably best and we will tell you it was probably not the best. It's probably not the best. It was probably far from the best. It probably wasn't very good. No, No. but they, uh, their selling point, and I guarantee it's why people go there is because of how cool the inside of the building was. You once again felt like you were in a cave um, and it looked very cool. The food was just far from it, but, but. That's a no, That's that was okay. our probably our only not good that was food the experience. Only bad experience in, we had in the whole yeah. time we were there. So from there we moved on to Cluj, the mm-hmm. largest city in the western half mm-hmm. of Romania. And it was a big city. It's a college town. Yeah. Um, it wasn't our favorite spot in Romania, no. but they did have a great beer scene once yeah. again. They had some historic churches. They had the favorite pizza that you've ever had, right? They had that. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. It was amazing. That. And we found, and the guy was so nice. I forgot about yeah. that. that. <laughs> yeah, that was the best pizza I've ever had. And we yep. spent two and a half months in Italy, mm-hmm. in Romania. That was still the best. I don't know what to it was. To this day. To this day. Yeah. And then we went to go back there before we were leaving yep. and they were closed that day. It was a holiday. We were so bummed. It was a holiday yeah. weekend. So we'll have to go back just for that. Well, I'd Although, go back just for that. Pizza. Yeah. But Cluj was not our favorite. It was more of a bigger city yeah. feel. Uh, you had to walk quite a distance to get to places. But once again, they did have a lot of the really good, um, the different breweries yep. and tap little pubs, and tap pubs houses. And yeah. And so that was a lot of fun. We went to a rooftop bar that overlooked the city. Yep. Um, so we really enjoyed the town. We were there for about a week yeah. um, and, you know, more than enough time. You really only need a couple of days there, but there are some day trips that you can do out of there as well. Yeah, we did the Salta Turta uh, salt mines. Yes. And uh, that was a day um, that goes down as an epic uh, Brian and Carrie fail. Big time uh, fail. We tried to take the city bus to get out to the salt mines. Um, we couldn't figure out how to find the bus. Mm-hmm. And by now we're starting to navigate pretty good, mm-hmm. you know, so it's not like we're just... There were there were no clear instructions. Yeah, there was no clear instructions. No. We finally figured out we're at the wrong bus station. Well, we were the bus stop where it was supposed to come to. Um, and clearly everywhere online was saying you, you wait at this bus area and never came. So we just went directly to the bus station, right. which was a cluster because it was buses just pulled in all over. We had no clue which bus we're supposed right. to take. I think at this point, we honestly were thinking to ourselves, should we just not do this Well, today? I can't believe we did. Yeah. Because it got worse. Yeah. <laughs> we waited about an hour for that bus that we finally figured out this mm-hmm. is the bus. But in to backtrack a little, how many people recommended we go to this? Like we had oh, so many people tell us, you have to you go to this salt You have to mines. do this. You have to go. Yeah. So we, so we, we figured we had to do We it. had to go. We get on the bus. And, and in the back of our minds, we are thinking, let's just not do this. Mm-hmm. But we do anyway. 
we get to the town outside of where the salt mines mm -hmm. are at. Where you have to get off the bus. I mean, you have is, to get yeah, off the bus. Exit. Then you have to catch another bus to get out to the salt mines. But we don't know where to catch that bus. Well, no, it specifically said catch the bus in front of whatever this building is that it was, right? So we get to that building. And remember, they were doing road well, construction. Well, yeah, I, I, do, I, I remember. But the bus let us off Yes, they well before we got to that building. Right, Spot. but we knew that and we were going to get an Uber into the other, but remember the Uber thing wouldn't work, the app, so then we had uh. to walk. Then we find the place that we're supposed to catch the bus. It was just a mess. And See, so, I'm forgetting a lot of this because I, I, I blocked it I think it you block mind. its protection yeah. mode. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and so we finally find another block up, you know, to go find this bus. Uh, we could have walked there faster at this yeah. point as far as from the town center. We could have just walk there. And so we get on the bus and we get to the salt mines, which then we... We're having trouble there because they were saying like no cash or no cards, no, no but you can only use cash. Only use so we had to go get cash. cash out. Anyway, and uh, so we finally get in there. And to a lot of people, it might have been very cool. Yeah. It might have been. It was very, you know, I'm. we don't want to diss it and say that it wasn't cool. But for what you got and what you had to go through to do it, it wasn't worth it for us. As soon as you got into the salt mines, it was impressive. Right. But to then enjoy the salt mines, we had to go down all those stairs. Right. Then you get down the stairs, and let's just make it very clear that it's a one-way kind of thing. So you are navigating people going up the stairs and people coming down the stairs. And you get down there, which took forever because it's a lot of friggin' stairs because yeah. you have to go down to the very bottom. I can't remember how many flights it was. You get down to the bottom, and then you kind of look over, and you see the line to take the stairs to go up. Right. And it's like, oh my gosh. And the elevator, there's an elevator, but that line is is, is incredibly Crazily long. Crazily long, yeah. So we're not gonna do that. So anyway, we get out of the salt mines, mm -hmm. we get back to our Airbnb, and we think, why did we do that? Yeah. Yeah. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. We wouldn't do it again. We survived. Um, we wouldn't do it again, but like we said, to some people, they absolutely love it, so we right. don't want to diss on it. I know they kind of call it like the Disney of of Romania because it's got, um, when you're down there, you can go on some boats that are down in the bottom and stuff. So there's, there's a few things if you have kids to go do in there, but I guess for us, the amount of work that went into it wasn't worth it. Right. So we enjoyed Cluj for the week that we were there. We could have made it a shorter stop. Just, I think, because we enjoyed the small town so much more. Right, yeah. right. And from there, we did go to a small town. Mm -hmm. Probably well, one of our favorites. Yeah, it was, it was Aradia. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't call it, I, I, I mean, Brajov is still my favorite. Yeah. Aradia was the cleanest. It was such a beautiful it's town. It's a beautiful city. A river yeah. run through it. Um, the churches, again, the history. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I would say I would say two days would probably be enough. Mm -hmm. In Aradia. But it was a place that, you know, being slow travelers like we are, it was one place, both Brajov and Aradia to us, went down as places that we could have seen ourselves staying longer stretch. Yeah. Because Aradia had so many areas to walk alongside the river. And once again, like you said, it's so clean. Right. That it just, you just felt like you could just kind of just keep walking around and it was just so pretty. Yeah. A lot to take it was in. Very, it was very uh, well, well done. And then back to it had one of our favorite breweries because it had we hadn't had that same favorite brewery for a few towns right. since, and so we had that. And um, once again, a lot of really good food, and yeah, we really enjoyed that town. And so, and then we from there we moved on to our final stop in Romania, which was Timisoara. Right, and Timisoara, you know, the it's known for their um, town square mm -hmm. and the colorful buildings. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it was it was it lived up to that expectation there wasn't a lot to do outside of that area mm -hmm. but but we did enjoy it if i remember correctly it was 101 yeah the, it was the a crazy hot we were, we were right there in the center we were august yeah so was, middle of the summer yeah. uh and so that kind of took a little bit of the fun out of it but we did we enjoyed timisora but i think because we appreciated the other town so much Timisora wasn't our favorite of the stops. And I know that when we kind of gave people an itinerary of where to go through Romania, because it's kind of off the beaten path a little bit, it's not in an easy, you know, roundabout right. area right. to get to. Um, and we had a path that we were going because right after that we were heading into Serbia. Serbia. And so right. it made sense. Um, but it would be, if somebody had to cut something off their list, I would say they could cut Timisora off yeah. personally. Yeah. I don't know if I would go that far. Because I enjoyed Timisoara, but but again, 
if you're comparing it to other places that we really liked a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Depends how much time you have to go yeah. through and how much time you want to spend in each location. Right. You right. know, and I think that if you have a car, because to get to those ones, it was like long bus rides, you know, right. in between some of those. So it kind of just depends how much time you have. Really it depends how much time you have. They're all worth going to. I know that mm -hmm. much. Romania is very much worth going to. Romania is 100% worth yeah. going to. And I know that there were so many areas that we missed and that, um, like we said, the people were so Ugh. so welcoming that we had so many people reach out to us and let us know of different places we should go to when we come right. back. Right. A lot of them were like, I can't believe you didn't go here or, mm -hmm. or here. You had all this time. Why didn't you go there? Yeah. Well, you're right. Right. We, we should have. And we definitely yeah. plan to go back. Unfortunately, our list is just so long of places that we want to go to that we haven't been to at all yet. Um, and then the unf unfortunate part of it being added to Schengen really makes it more challenging. Um, but I think that we could take a month out of our Schengen time and like go travel to that northern northeastern side right, right. and hit um, because we were told kind of the coast area and I'm trying to remember the names of some of these towns that they mentioned right. but I can't recall them now um, but yeah I, I know that we want to go back there and explore my I want to go and have some of their food uh, love their food love the beer um, just love the people yeah if food uh, history beer and people or something that you're interested in mm -hmm. uh, while you vacation. And just cool architecture. Yeah, yeah. Then, then Romania would be a place that you should put on your list. Yeah, for sure. Well, we hope that you enjoyed this kind of walk through Romania with us. Um, if it has not been on your list to do, I would look further into Romania and maybe just see if it might be a place that you would add to your vacation list. Uh, now, if you want to find us anyplace else off of the podcast, you can find us on our social media, on Facebook, Instagram, and then also, of course, on YouTube at Brian and Carrie. And then also you can find us on our website, which is com. So we will catch you next time. Cheers. Cheers.